So Madeline, your father has vascular dementia, bad aortic valve, anemia, and can't seem to stop doing activities to the point of exhaustion. I have got several people like that. Redirecting, insisting, or getting angry won't help. Nope. So, so you got to think about dementia as brain damage. And it's not like there's a specific cure out there that's going to reverse it. Think of it as emphysema. By the time someone has problems like that, they have got scarring. But what often happens is that the medications that they're on makes it worse. So definitely if you can see a geriatrician near you, um, I think that would be great. Madeline, let's look at what makes life worth living for your dad. Um, what's important to him? Um, and then I have had people where we've had to walk by them and all we can feed them is ice cream because they walk nonstop. We have to use medications to help slow that down. But first, we get rid of the medications that cause problems. And then um, we also treat pain. I've seen people, you know, kind of move, 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 even though they have pain and the movement makes the pain worse. So um, you want to do that. And then you want to use medications. And I will say right here, Xanax, Ativan, Clonopin are not good long-term treatments for elders with dementia and agitation. I'm trying to do a study to prove that. Um, the American Psychiatric Association came out with guidelines in 2016 about how to address agitation and they don't use it that much, but it's very commonly used. And basically you have to think of those medications like um, a shot of vodka and it just makes people more disinhibited, but then you withdraw from it.